Right, so uh, this one's interesting because it greatly surprised me. I came past this stand earlier and uh, I thought that uh, because I'm not the expert on 3D printers in, uh, or printing technology in our company, we have a whole team on that, uh, that as chairman of the company I thought I'd come past and express my ignorance and um, I certainly did it here because uh, I uh, saw that here was something that was uh, seemingly a very basic um, uh, 3D printer, which is not, uh, and I thought it must be made in China, which it isn't. So please explain I, something about the center of the universe being San Diego. <laughs> Hello, uh, so you're from San Diego, California, actually, as he said. Uh, Kubibot is a consumer-based desktop 3D printer that we have been working on for the past three years. Now, what uh, basically sets it separate from other printers is that at a price point of about less than 400 US dollars, Kubibot comes with features of much more advanced printers, such as it comes with a heated bed, it comes with a high temperature nozzle, it is the only printer that comes with basically a filtered ventilation system, so it makes it safer than other you know, non-filtered printers for printing with plastics such as ABS and polycarbonate. Ah, yes, of course, some are quite nasty vapor. Yes, yes. exactly. Yeah. So, um, also the features such as the heated bed and the high temp nozzle allows it to print basically with a wide range of materials. Yes. You can print from PLAs, all the specialty PLAs, you can print ABS, ABS plus, polycarbonate, nylon, PET and, uh, you know, flexible materials as well. Well, flexible materials, that's something I don't usually hear, do I? I think when we see uh, uh, printers that are not very expensive, uh, it's not usual for them to say they do elastomers. Is, is that what you're yes. saying? Yes, so the, it, it basically does you know, flexible materials up to a certain hardness. Yes. Uh, so, again, it's a very capable printer for its price point and for its size. It's been designed to fit on any desk. Yes, yeah, uh, much the smaller machine is than only most. 10 inches cube. Yeah, yeah. And it can print about half its own size. Uh, <laughs> half its own size. So this that you see here is not the biggest. It's not the biggest. No. Ah, you right. You can still do five. Okay. And you can do five, much five. bigger things yes. anyway that assemble, obviously. Um, so what's your reason for existence? You've got something that's obviously ahead in many respects. You're not stupid enough to try and sell on price alone. Um, are you trying to get uh, uh, create a large business? And if so, is it going to be a software business, a services business, a materials business, or primarily selling the boxes? That really is a box. So How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me do. So we are actually here to stay. We are here to build a business of uh, taking this technology into every home and every classroom. Ah. So we would like everybody to be able to use 3D printers. Small size really matters and there. Small size yes, really matters yes, because I like it. You know, small size, the filtration as yes. well as the capabilities. It's nicely designed. You know. I like the logo. And is that a logo? So this uh, is a logo as well as the cartridge fits. It's nice. Here. It's, it's nice industrial design. It's elegant. I like Thank that. You. And I think you're going to sell materials for your we machine. Will. We will sell materials for our machine because we, uh, we have a very tight quality control in the material that we produce for the machine. And uh, there, it's a really high quality premium filament that we provide for it. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't mean you, you know, we won't lock our customers to use ah, our material, right. You're but it's highly recommended right. and uh, we cannot guarantee a quality with third party materials. I think that's really robust so. strategy. That's very good. <laughs> no, I seriously, not joking. That's, Thank you. Uh, uh, the people who think they can lock in a uh, material supply forever and uh, basically screw the customers are, are, are playing a bit, of a, no. uh, a bit of a short game, I exactly. think. Uh, and uh, it's a very fast-growing industry. We're truly amazed. Good. Well, thank you very much. Thank Extremely you so much. impressive. Uh, you've you. given all the impressive answers. <laughs> thank you.